There's a saying, if you allow your passion to become your purpose, it will one day become your profession. Our job is to give people the opportunity at the fish of a lifetime. But on our days off, it's our turn. Jay and I had the opportunity to head over to Maverick Boat Group over in Fort Pierce and check out our new 25 hybrids that were being built. And at the same time, we were really uh, lucky to be able to see the new factory that had been completed and they started producing some boats inside of it. We always like to see kind of like the in-between parts of when they're being built, like the, the guts of the boat that's been, been done there. And uh, man, we get there and Jeremy's boat's in production and uh, we're checking out the whole resin system and how it's being infused. And you get to see what really makes it work and, and what makes that boat different than the rest. I'm not in the boat building business, so it's really neat for me personally to see how these boats come together and to get to shake the hands of the men and the women who put them together as well and get to rub elbows with them and, and you know, really see the whole process. It's very fascinating to me and, and incredible the way the whole facility is laid out. That whole 850 feet we just walked, it's about an eight day start to finish. And you can see the doors right there, the trucks pull in the morning and out the door they go. When we have an opportunity to go over to Maverick for the day or the weekend, whatever it may be, we don't ever get a chance to fish over there. And I tell you, that, that Fort Pierce area, that area is really neat. The Atlantic Ocean, it drops off really fast on that side, so it's something that we're not used to. It gets deep quick, and it's a beautiful fishery, man. Tarpon, sailfish, tuna, kingfish. I mean, it was really, uh, it was excited to get out there on that water. So you have, uh, what are you putting, 60 on? I'm gonna go 60 fluoro, which I think is just on the top end of. Yeah, probably long before. leader was as clear as this water is, huh? Right, like super long. Um, I mean, that's the first thing we noticed when we came out here was how clean this water oh, yeah. is. And you can literally pick out <laughs> stuff on the bottom and, and whatnot. So no question. So for me, fluorocarbon is, is definitely a must. I tell you, you know, just tomorrow with the weather the way it's going to be, Flat opportunity calm. for just maybe, just maybe, a sailfish or two. I'm not going to get greedy since how <laughs> I've never pulled on one. Have you pulled on one? No. I don't really know what to expect. That's the best part about it. We don't it know is. what to expect. You know, when Skip offered to take us the next day, uh, it was a great opportunity to get out and kind of see, you know, what that area has to offer. And, uh, you know, I have limited experience over there. I've only been there fishing there a couple times. And, um, you know, that time of year, the sailfish were pretty hot and we thought for sure we'd get an opportunity. And I've never caught one, so we were pretty pumped about doing that. Anytime we go anywhere that's a foreign place to us or a place that we haven't been before, we are checking weather, we're checking tides, we're checking wind direction, we're checking all of that stuff. So a couple of days prior to our trip, we realized the wind was switching and coming out of the west pretty hard. And that changed the habits of those sailfish. So you're wrapping... Yeah, we're going to put one down just to get them out of the weed. And you know, a lot of times you'll get a, you will get a bite on the bottom or, yeah. or down lower anyway. And how much water are we in right now, Skip? We're in uh, 172. We came a little Ooh. deeper. Yeah. 172. Yeah. I can still see the buildings. Yeah, right. It's, it's clear today, but this is, I mean, you're, we normally fish between 125 and 200, somewhere in there. It drops fast here. Well, yeah, and the further south we go, the faster it drops. Oh, really? Okay. Now we are yeah, out the here in- The Gulf Stream is 15 miles off of Fort Pierce Inlet. We're, we're a good way south, so we're probably pretty close. Okay. 
We decided that the sail fishing was slow given the wind direction. We think maybe they moved a little farther to the south given that situation with the weather. So we decided to try to just put out some baits in general and see if we could pick up a tuna or a big king or a big dolphin even. And it turns out it paid off. That may be him. Is that him? I don't know what we got here. I don't think this is a sailfish. No, I don't that think fish, so either. It looked like it it's head shaking deep. like bonita or uh, I it mean, it looked a little kingy to me. Was it? Yeah. It Kingfish like, would have cut that off by yeah, now. Yeah, that's I think. the thought. There's no wire roll. That's why I'm thinking all. either bonita or maybe Short even hook, right? Blackfin tuna. Maybe. Well, that would be nice. That would be really nice. If it's a blackfin tuna. Fixing to eat good he, tonight, he's, aren't he's you? doing that spiral on it. He's, he's going. He's doing the old for. circle of death on us right now. That could be a blackfin. I think we got a blackfin, boys. Blackfin tuna. I can't reel anymore. Big blackfin. Dang. Nice blackfin. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I want to see this. I want to see this stick job right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got him! Got yeah, baby. him! Good one! Box him! Nicely done! That, that's oh. dinner right there, boys. You got that right. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you think about that? Look at that, huh? Look at there, there we go. That's pretty solid, huh? Sailfish are nice, but dinner's even better. <laughs> You know, there's many days that you can run a bay boat out into that open water on the Atlantic side. There are many days to follow that where the weather doesn't always cooperate. And uh, when we saw that storm rolling in, we were both looking at each other like, yep, it's time to go. And boy, are we glad we're in that 25 Pathfinder because you know, the truth is, when you gotta make it and inevitably that kind of weather sneaks up on you, it's important to make sure you can get back without beating yourself to death. And that thing really crushes down some waves. When we go back there to fish the next time in that big old Atlantic Ocean, and we will, believe us, because uh, we saw that potential and we saw how lively and how amazing that place is. When we go back there, we'll be ready. And we were really fortunate that we had uh, Skip on the boat to show us the potential and show us what that fishery can really be.